Rashi Rice turns himself over to police after multi-car Dallas car crash. Rashi Rice officially turned himself into authorities in Texas after an arrest warrant was issued for him this week stemming from a multi-car crash in Dallas, court records confirmed. On Wednesday, the Chiefs wide receiver was charged with eight crimes, including six counts of collision involving bodily injury, one count of collision involving serious bodily injury and one count of aggravated assault after a multi-car crash in Dallas in March. He had 24 hours to turn himself over to authorities and did so to the Glen Heights Police Department on Thursday. Each count which are all felonies came with a $5,000 bond, making his total bond $40,000, court records showed. A DeSoto Regional Jail representative told the Dallas Morning News that Rice was no longer in custody. Mr. Rice acknowledges his actions and feels deeply for those injured as a result of this accident, the attorney Royce West said in a statement to the Associated Press. The aggravated assault charge would come with the biggest sentence, which comes with a potential sentence between 2 and 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine, Texas law states. The incident in question that left four people injured took place on March 30 on U.S. Highway 75 in Dallas and involved Rice, according to West, driving a Lamborghini SUV and SMU receiver Teddy Knox behind the wheel of Rice's Corvette. He's a young man that made a mistake, West told reporters last Thursday, adding that Rice will do everything in his power to bring their life back to as normal as possible in terms of injuries, in terms of property damage. The two cars were allegedly driving at high speeds and lost control, leading to a six-car crash. The six occupants of the Lamborghini and the Corvette both left the scene, and marijuana was found in both cars, WFAA reported. Police also found credit cards, a $16,500 check, a diamond chain and a playbook for the Chiefs, per WFAA. Knox, who was suspended by SMU earlier Thursday, is facing the same charges as Rice. SMU takes these allegations seriously, SMU said in a statement. Federal student privacy laws prevent the university from discussing details involving student disciplinary proceedings. According to the AP, Knox was not in custody on Thursday. Amid the investigation into the crash, Rice posted his own statement saying he took full responsibility for my part in this matter.